So I'm Giulio and I work uh, mostly on the integration of self in Triblo. That means uh, deploying together self with your over cloud, with OpenStack and configure the different services so that they use self. In, um, in the past release, the major changes that we added were uh, support the composable roles that were introduced in Triple, so that we could have uh, dedicated roles running only the CephOSD service, or only the Ceph Rados Gateway service, or only the Ceph Monitor service. In the Okada release, we are going to add two services that we didn't deploy before. That's one of which is the metadata service, which is needed to create file system hosting for Ceph, so CephFS. And the other one is the RBD mirroring daemon, which is needed to replicate data stored in one of the pools across a different Ceph cluster. Purpose of the first uh, service, so of adding Ceph M MDS, is to make Manila capable of creating shares which are hosted in Ceph uh, through Ceph MDS. That means that in Okada you can deploy Manila together with Ceph, together with Ceph MDS, and finally create a share in Manila, which is a Ceph file system that you can consume from the other guests. Purpose of the RBD mirroring daemon is that we are <laughs> working on uh, a multi site architecture which would allow recovery in a different location, a different physical location of data which was hosted in the first cluster. So uh, you can imagine <coughs> consuming data from one set cluster in a geographical location into another other cloud hosted in a different geographical location. Um, some more work, not strictly related to self, but uh, around that is uh, the integration of self Ansible. We don't have it done yet, uh, but we got closer to it in Okada. Uh, adding a resource in heat which would allow uh, triggering a Mistral workflow, monitoring the execution of the workflow and uh, running the workflow during the heat stack deployment. The goal would be to have a Mistral workflow drive Ceph Ansible so that your Ceph cluster is deployed on the overcloud nodes through Ceph Ansible instead of Puppet. And the first step that we needed was actually the ability to run the workflow from heat during the overflow deployment, which is why we added the workflow execution resource, which, uh, yeah, which we are going to discuss at the PDG, actually. So uh, for Pike, we certainly need to automate replication for the Rados gateway service, because in Ceph, in Ceph, uh, the replication in a different geographical location of the Rados gateway doesn't happen through the RBD mirroring daemon. So, uh, given that we added support for Rados gateway and knew them, uh, for Pike we will need to add whatever is needed to get Rados gateway able to replicate data across a different geographical location, which is sort of um, <laughs> well complementary to the RBD mirroring daemon, which is only mirroring the RBD tools. And I guess we will make a few steps further in the integration of Ceph Ansible. I think we may get to a point where in Pi you could optionally deploy Ceph using Ceph Ansible and the external workflow instead of Puppet Ceph. And uh, we also need to change the way how we upgrade self because in Pike we will go from the dual self release to the next content release so we will have to automate the upgrade process we put in place the basis in Okada uh, we have batched upgrades so we can run upgrade steps on one node at a time to make sure that the data remains available on the guests during the upgrade so that the rolling upgrade is not impacting availability of data and we will put that under good use, let's say, in Pike, so that we upgrade Ceph from uh, Jewel to the new rail on campus. That's planned for now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.